Next, uh, you will be uh, listening to CEO of Powerblock. Uh, Aaron will be speaking, and uh, he will be he will talk about uh, from yet another perspective is how do you do uh, financing? So basically, they have been uh, working in the past uh, one or two years in the field of blockchain user financing. Uh, okay, let's welcome Aaron. I want to see if I can get a raise of hands of how many of you timed exactly the Bitcoin market over the last five years. Raise your hand. I'm trying to see. Uh, no one. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, and, and before I get into this a little bit, but we're talking about invisible price signals in the marketplace. And with what Roger just explained was super important. If you plan on making money in Bitcoin, if you did not understand the slide that he talked about and you saw those convergent lines with hash rate, the pricing, the capacity in the markets, those types of things, you need to spend more time with Roger and his group understanding that. There are significant price signals in there that are not contained on the blockchain or any blockchain explorer um, in, in, a, in terms that will give you the ability to make good decisions about when to invest. And that's really what we do as PowerBlock and we're working with InnoSilicon and other manufacturers and hardware providers in the space in terms of shipping containers and all guys that are that really involve what we would consider the institutional uh, infrastructure for the network. It's critical that you understand these things and I, I know we've got five minutes, I'm gonna to try to be really quick so I may blow through some of these things on my slide but realize there are invisible price signals if you understand those signals and know where to look for them how to interpret them, you can make money consistently. In fact, with our company, what we did last year in the bear market, we grew and made more money. And understanding these signals will allow you to make money when the market goes up and when it goes down. So with that, I'll, I'll go forward a little bit also. I wanna say thank you to, to Gabriel and Bitmining Market uh, for the reception last night, it was very good. We helped uh, Gabriel uh, with some of his customers actually put uh, finance equipment in Venezuela of all places. So we do a lot of things that'll help with financing the infrastructure for the network. Um, and then also thank you to the miners, uh, to Mining Disrupt organizer, Organizers for the conference. Very good and very appreciative of the opportunity. So, and somebody keep me on track. I can easily go over, what am I, Matt? Right there, 245, okay. So when we talked about this data that's invisible uh, to most people. If you know where to look, it can do a few things for you. And in, in trying to form capital for the investment for your mining, buy you know, hardware from you know, silicon or data centers or deploy it, uh, this capital, you need to understand several things and be able to communicate that to, to people like us who provide the capital. One of which is that without this data, the counterparty doesn't understand what the risk is and so you'll never develop the capital in the first place, right? And missing the bear market opportunities. When Roger showed that, that chart, and he showed the best time to be mining, right? And to be buying all this equipment, is it at the peak of the market? Of course not. It was six months ago. But six months ago, when your crypto is only worth one third of what it is today, how do you get liquidity so you can use your crypto to buy more infrastructure when it's the cheapest? Those are the things that we do and help miners understand. And then also, hodling is not a strategy for cash flow. It's not, right? We, we know that, that that is one strategy which is just to hold because it's the only strategy you have if you don't have a hedge. If you don't know how to hedge your cryptocurrency you are losing money and going out of business and you just don't know it yet. So, I've got one more minute here. I think everybody understands what the capital needs are. We just talked about that. I'm gonna blow through this really quick. Um, long story short, because of the data that we have, we can help advise you on how and when to invest in mining 
and it's not a lot of times the time that you think it is. And there are different ways to invest in mining without actually buying hardware, right? Now, InnoSilicon has been just talked about hash rate exchanges and other things. Those are critical and going to be more and more part of the future about how to provide hash rate. You don't have to physically do it a lot of times. We just did several transactions with InnoSilicon that were double digit millions under this structure. We're innovating these uh, structures that allow you to access hash rate without actually having to physically deploy the miners yourselves. We can, har we can basically finance hardware uh, through companies like you know, Silicon and provide you with the ability to get into business and mining instantaneously within hours. Doesn't take months or years. So we don't have a lot of time to go into this. I have five more seconds and I'm trying to be on time. But the, the critical piece to this, obviously, is building a supply chain of hash rate. It's not only just building the infrastructure for the, the, the deployment of these hard physical assets, but there is hash rate available that you can acquire to start to create financial derivatives with your assets. So uh, my time is up. I appreciate the opportunity, but again, Come see InnoSilicon, and by virtue of seeing InnoSilicon, you'll be talking to us about financing and the capital needs uh, in this space. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.